Good evening, Roller Derby fans. You're watching Coastal Chaos 2019, a WFTDA recognized tournament, live from the Mid Coast Recreation Center in Rockport, Maine, USA. Well, Coastal Chaos is brought to you by the Rock Coast Rollers of Rock Rockport, Maine, and New England Roller Derby Report. I'm Gretchen Little here with George Carnage to bring you the final game of this three-day event. Uh, George, how you feeling? <laughs> I, we've had an intense uh, two or three days here, Gretchen, and we've seen some very good derby. And one of the key things that we should know is we're not, so we haven't seen any blowouts. Everything's just been pretty much even across the board among every group of two teams that's played, with the exception of one of our last couple of games here where it was about, about a 102 point difference. Yeah, we've got in this final game the Black Rose Rollers in the black. Uh, from Hanover, Pennsylvania, taking on the Bay State Brawlers, the Petticoat Punishers. Bay State and Black Rose in their division are both currently undefeated. Yes. And the, we've talked about the uh, structure of this tournament. A champion will be awarded. Uh, the championship is still up for grabs. Can we talk about that a little bit as to what has to happen? Yes. So what we're doing is we're doing this is what's called the, a red robin, right, Gretchen? Where, Round robin for each yes. bracket, yes. Where we're not going by whether or not you won. It is how much you won by. So that's why if you've been paying attention, we're seeing a lot of jams where they're making that last review or team time out with a second to go just to squeeze one more jam out because even though they've won the game, they're trying to bring that score up to in increase their point spread for that game. Well, that's correct. And already in their bracket, Hartford Area Roller Derby is undefeated. Yes. Now, one of these teams between Black Rose and Bay State will end up undefeated themselves right. at the end of this game. Does that mean, how, how will the champion be awarded at that point if you have two undefeated teams? That is the question that will depend on point differential. All right, we're almost ready to get underway. We'll get you the rosters in a couple of minutes. Officiating this contest are WEB Destroys, Decrypt Keeper, Apex Predator, Melfire, Lopez, Kinky Linky. In her 100th game, Braddy Soros Rex, Big Brad Wolf, and Snappy Turtle. Hey, we are off. We've got Olive Havoc for Black Rose, jamming against Ashley Juggs for Bay State. And Olive Havoc is out first, George, for lead jammer. Yes, uh, we've seen uh, Olive Havoc is a powerhouse jammer for Black Rose Rollers and for the Pennsylvania All-Stars. That is uh, correct, and in scoring mode right now, Olive Havoc putting up the first four points of this game, George. Ashley Juggs still held in the pack by the Black Rose defenders. We're seeing a, a wall there, Red Rum and Phoenix, holding back Ashley Juggs. Yeah, and one of the things that we've seen Black Rose excel at throughout this tournament is going back and forth and guarding both lines. Meanwhile, Olive Havoc is on her own, but she's called for cutting the track. So now it's a power jam in favor of Bay State. Ashley Juggs looking to complete the initial and Black Rose looking to kill that penalty. So Black Rose actually won their first game, uh, uh, their first game of that they played against Hellion Detroit with a 47 point win. And their second game that they played was against ACR with a 76 point win. So their total points spread is 123. Okay, we'll get to base states situation in just a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, this is tough defense being played by Black Rose. Olive Havoc has been released from the penalty box. Two blockers are in the box for Bay State, and here comes Olive Havoc. Still 15 seconds yes. left in this jam. So that was her, I believe that was her second four point pass. So imagine that no points were scored by Bay State. Olive uh, coming out with, with eight points now. Yeah, the scoreboard in the venue right now is uh, being updated. So eight points for Black Rose. Four, okay, 12 now for Black Rose, four for Bay State. 
despite the power jam for Bay State, Black Rose able to take control of that jam. Yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting battle. These teams actually played earlier this year, and Bay State took the win yes. by approximately 24 points. So, uh, you know, Black Rose looking for some vengeance right now. We got Bacon for Mercy for, for Black Rose jamming up against Ace of Aches for Bay State Brawlers. Okay, and one blocker still standing in the penalty box for Black Rose. That is number 337, That's who is Susan Sherramdom, lead jammer going to Ace of Aches. Bacon for Mercy still working on the initial trip for Black Rose. Ace of Aches now into the pack looking for points and finding room on that inside line, George. That was some sweet work for go up for Bay State. This will be a Donnybrook, folks, hoping for a, uh, you know, a spirited game. Don't think we have any question about that. Not at all. I mean, we've seen very passionate skating now by both of these teams. Bacon for Mercy has gotten her initial pass complete, but not in time because Ace of Aches puts, I think, 11-point jam there for Ace of Well, Aches. seven, actually, seven. I believe. Yeah, 11 now for yes. Bay State. So the, the jam stopper there was Phoenix for Black Rose, protecting her point on the outside of turn number one. Now we've got Boots with the jam star for Bay State and Blue for Black Rose. Here we go. Boots looking inside, and uh, Mace in your face currently standing up in the penalty box for Black Rose. We have a direction of gameplay penalty called on Bay State's pivot. That is number 13. Uh, 15. 15, First excuse me. Bubbles, yeah. captain. Okay, Blue is through first for, oh, and we have a penalty now. It is called on Boots, a high block going on the Bay State jammer, so it's a power jam for Black Rose. Black Rose Blue putting up four points now. It's three on three in the pack. Black Rose slowing down the pack action. Bay State setting up defensively now. Here comes the Black Rose Swarm coming in. Timing is so critical on that move. And Blue getting ridden around by 713. Kangarooin now passing off to Smash Mellow. Blue bumped inside by Smash Mellow. Look at that was a hit. And that was Bay State's last line of defense putting that hit on Blue. And one thing about Blue is Blue is coming back from like a little bit of a break that she took in Derby. So that's right. Yeah. And Blue's actually going for uh, her wedding next week yeah. in Hawaii. So this is an action-packed uh, couple of weeks for Blue. Blue fighting through, though, got eight points. Mm -hmm. uh, Courtesy of the power jam, Boots has been released from the penalty box, but is still working on the initial trip. Blue now juking outside, popped to the outside by Kangarooin. Blue will reset, really no reason to call the jam for Black Rose right now. Boots rolled back once again. This uh, Blue completes another scoring trip. That's four, and wow. 12-point so jam there by Blue, matching Olive's 12-point jam there in the first jam. Yeah, so 24 minutes to go in this first period. The Black Rose Rollers ahead, 24 to 11, base state. Brawlers, Petticoat Punishers will send Wreck and Roll now to the jam line against Olive Havoc for right. Black Rose. Again, one blocker in the penalty box for Bay State. They set up at the front. Olive Havoc ridden to the outside by the Bay State pivot. Can't see the number right now. Oh, it's 814 Keels. Now it's a two on one situation with Olive Havoc pushing the front of the pack. Lead jam, Olive Havoc, wreck and roll quickly through as well. Oh, e <laughs> wreck and roll takes a spill there. Rex and rolls living up to that name. But Olive Havoc is now in the engagement zone with, with a scoring pass just kind of hanging overhead right now. That's right, and quickly through on the inside of turn two, four point hit and quit. Wreck and roll was closing quickly. No points going up for Bay State, 28-11 in favor of the Black Rose Rollers. 
number 121 now from Bay State. Dr. M hits Brown. <laughs> number 123, Bacon for Mercy for Black Rose. Okay, and uh, one Bay State blocker again in the penalty box. That's Thylander. So Black Rose has been enjoying a uh, pack advantage for the majority of this first period. Yes. Here we go now. Oh, Bacon, Bacon for Mercy finds room outside. Bacon for Mercy, another powerhouse, different for Black Rose. Uh, I think Bacon is on a fourth season derby, Gretchen, or fifth, I'm sorry, it's at least five years that Bacon's been skating, and I think has also put some time in on the Pennsylvania All-Stars roster as well. Well, it's interesting about Black Rose for a team from a small city such as Hanover, Pennsylvania, they have had tremendous uh, good fortune in maintaining right. their roster. Five of the founding members of the Black Rose Rollers are here skating this evening for the All-Stars, and uh, that's certainly uh, helped with the longevity of the program. Now, this time it's gonna be a 4-3 pack advantage in favor of Bay State as Bad Wolf is in the penalty box to start this jam. And Who's on the jam line? Killjoy, 1777, and 34, Ashley Juggs for Bay State. And uh, Bad Wolf, if you've ever seen Bad Wolf block, it is a sight to see. Bad Wolf is a very active, very uh, proactive blocker. I mean, just fluid and just keeping up with the jammer. Okay, lead jam going to Ashley Juggs. Killjoy still mired in the defense of Bay State. Ashley Juggs looking outside. This appears to be a four point pass. It is Bay State closing the gap now. That'll take them to 15. Black Rose with 32. It looks like Killjoy has passed the star over to their pivot, 84 Phoenix, who doesn't normally do a whole lot of jamming. So Phoenix was knocked out of bounds there right around turn three. That's right, Susan Scher rammed him for Black Rose at the front, trying to impede the progress of Ashley Juggs. Ashley Juggs sh shrugs off the defense, and four more oh. going up for Black Rose. A back block penalty, We're just given the Phoenix, and it was right in front of her table, uh, Gretchen. Um, and that's going to put put a power jam over in the hands of Bay State right now. That's right. And, uh, well, with 50 seconds left in the jam, one would wonder Bay State might wish to call this and freeze the, uh, the somewhat reluctant jammer for the next uh the next jam we'll see how that rolls but uh meanwhile ashley juggs is continuing to fight the defense okay there we go i figured that bay state would uh take advantage of the situation and call that jam 10 point game right now all right number 217 Bambi rolling to the uh, bench after participating in that last jam. Nice uh, pack work by Bay State. By the way, Bambi wants to say hi to mom and dad. <laughs> we got an uh, official time out right okay. now. Well, while we're on the timeout, Gretchen, let's talk about the rosters of the skaters. Sure. We're throwing names, but we don't know who all is skating. So the black team, that's Black Rose Rollers All-Stars. Uh, 1028, Delirious Pain. 123, Bacon for Mercy. 1777, Killjoy. 237, Red Rum. 337, Susan Sheramdom. 36, Mini. Number 6, Blue. 7, Bad Wolf. 808, Only Zool. 84, Phoenix. 91, Mason Your Face. And the Captain. 352, Olive Havoc. And for Bay State in the white. 121, Dr. M. Hits Brown. 15, the Captain. Burst in Bubbles. 16, Kate. 213, Sylvia Rath. 217, Bambi once again. 333 is Boots. Ashley Juggs is 34. Blue Whale, 42. 421, Thylander. 44, Annie Morphs. 713, Kangaroo. And 8, Ace of Aches, who is jamming right now. 80, Translucid. 814, Keels. 896, Wreck and Roll. And 923, Smash Mellow. Phoenix has been released from the penalty box. Still working on the initial trip. Meanwhile, Ace of Aches into the pack for points, George. Yes, Ace of Aches picked up lead jammer now and has completed a scoring pass. Jammer. Four, four more going up. It's now a six-point game. Phoenix will clear on the initial now, so that objective is accomplished. Meanwhile, here comes Ace of Aches looking for more, going face-to-face -face with Bad Wolf. <laughs> Bad Wolf 
did or did not protect her point. She no. did, George. Yes. Only three go up on yes. that trip. Wow. A lot of action right now. Three-point game. Both of these teams, uh, you know, as we said, Hartford may be in the catbird seat uh, with respect to the championship based upon point differential. But in order to uh, be in that competition, one of these teams has to win. Yes. You have to win. Either of these teams, uh, you know, it, that's number one. Number two, of course, would be points differential. Olive Havoc for Black Rose. Award, no, she is not awarded lead jammer, but she is the jammer in the lead. Lead has been awarded to Boots. So Boots may not be aware of it. Oh, she is. Yep, Boots called it. <laughs> So okay, no scoreless harm, jam. No harm, no foul there. Still coming out with a nothing, nothing jam. And Bacon for Mercy coming out against 421 Thylander. And we're looking at a five on five, Gretchen. That's right. The, well, I don't know. I'm looking at the penalty box. Might be a oh, uh, Black Rose yeah, uh, a, blocker in there. There is. There's a bench coach in my way. Okay, That's, yeah. Uh, Susan Sir Ramdom. Yeah, Susan Sir Ramdom, one of the founding members of the Black Rose Rollers. And let's see, yeah, we've got uh, Bacon for Mercy on the line, 896, wreck and roll. Uh, Bacon for Mercy getting bounced around, but uh, finding room inside. And that's one thing we've seen from Black Rose. Uh, their defensive formation is sort of like quasi-offense. Yes. They'll pinch the pack one way or another. One thing that we're, we've seen a lot from the Black Rose defense, we were talking about Bad Wolf. Bad Wolf knows just when to go in and break up a defensive wall if the Black Rose jammer is just hung up. One point going up on the jam. Bacon for Mercy having to call off the jam. So 33-29, four-point game with... 16 minutes and 45 seconds to go in period number one. On the jam line now, George. That's number six, Blue, taking on 121, Dr. M. Hitch Brown. And Susan Sure Ramdom standing in the penalty box, so that last jam did not take a whole lot of time. I wonder what happens if Dr. Emmett Brown skates at 88 miles an hour, Gretchen. <laughs> Ooh, we don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we're not the first people to ask that question either. Dr. M. Hits Brown does get lead jammer, however. So Bay State in a position now to uh, possibly uh, tie the game at least. Blue fighting up front, and that's the captain of the Punishers, Burst and Bubbles, slowing down Blue, who reapplies the helmet cover. Okay, that is four points now, so it's a tie game. And Dr. M. Hits Brown will take no chances. Can you believe that while we're sitting here on the edge of our seats in the tied game, 15 minutes has passed already? It, it's been fast and furious action. Olive Havoc with the star <laughs> now for Black Rose. We have a shout out from one of our very own, Gretchen, Glenn oh, Coco, hi, Glenn. number 44U from Black Rose, giving uh, us a shout out. Well, how you doing? Glad that you're able to join us via uh, the great uh, roller Derby streaming of the New England Roller Derby Report. More on that later. Olive Havoc now ducking to the outside, threw a shoulder fake inside, awarded lead jammer, but uh, through the pack now is Ashley Juggs. Olive Havoc speeding around on that scoring pass. Yeah, frantically going back and forth. Oh, big hit taken. Olive will call. Uh, waiting to see two points going up for the Black Rose Rollers. So they will retake the lead, 35 to 33. All right, now we have, for the first time in a while, George, a uh, empty penalty box. Empty penalty box, Bacon for Mercy going up against number eight, Ace of Aches. So these two jammers have faced off in the past, and it's been about even for both of them. Bacon's gotten lead a time or two, Ace has also gotten lead. Here we go. A lot of this has to do with the pack work, and both of these teams really are exquisite at it. Ace of Aches finds a hole, and uh, oh, nice defense there. 923 Smash Mellow rolling back Bacon for Mercy. So Ace of Aches on a scoring trip and barreling through, and Bay State will take the lead 
37 to 35. Bacon is still in possession of that helmet star right now, so no star pass was completed. Bacon is still the jammer for Black Rose. Ace of Aches looking to go airborne, thwarted by Mace in your face for Black Rose, now looking to get all she can and an additional two points going up for Bay State. So it's a four point game, Bay State Brawlers. Oh, excuse me, a third point going up. So 40 to 35 with 13 minutes and 26 seconds to go. Time out called by Black Rose. Yes. So let's talk about Bay State, Gretchen. The first game that Bay State played, they beat uh, 202 to 133. Okay. So that was a 69 point win for their second game was a 36 point win. So their total point spread was 105 and they're competing against Black Rose and their total was 123. So Oh, so it is a very close yes. situation. Yeah, th and and right now, um, you know, well obviously in order to get into the greater competition uh, for the championship, number 1 uh, is win because Hartford won all their games. Yes. Uh, number two is win by a larger margin than Hartford won all of their games by. Right. And Hartford won by a large margin. They uh, really did uh, do well in their bracket. So, uh, yeah, right now what we could be watching is the battle for second and third. We're and just going to have to wait and do the arithmetic. <laughs> it could be a battle. Uh, <laughs> we've This is my second year at Coastal Chaos, and the first year was a battle. So maybe we'll keep that karma going. So Boots, 3-3-3, three, 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 taking on Olive Havoc now. 4-3 pack advantage in favor of Bay State. Susan Sher Ramdom sitting in the penalty box as jam number three goes on. Oh, hey, Mason, your face's grandmother is watching today, and uh, thank you so much for that shout-out. Olive Havoc uh, doing the tiptoe on the outside line. Uh, Boots getting held back by Red Rum, but Red Rum called for a penalty. Meanwhile, Boots spins to the outside and is awarded lead jammer. Olive Havoc speeding behind, trying to catch up. Susan Sher Ramdom has now rejoined her teammates. Boots ju jukes outside, calls off the jam, and refs in style. The jam referee is checking with the outside pack referee about points, and I believe two are going up. Yes, two points awarded to Boots. So now it's a seven point game, uh, lead favoring Bay State Brawlers. Red Rum in the penalty box to start this next jam. Bacon for Mercy will be taking on Wreck and Roll. Okay, Wreck and Roll squirts through the front of the pack. Lead jammer going to Bay State. And Bacon takes off the star but makes it through the pack. Now here comes Wreck and Roll on a scoring trick. Taking the four That's and a, a, closing the door. Yes. Very well executed now. Bay State with a surge. Of course, Black Rose started the game with a surge. So, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, punch and up counter and, punch up so and far. down, kind of like the rest of the games we've been seeing so far this weekend. Yep. Full complement of skaters on the track yes. for both teams now. That 1777 killjoy for Black Rose and 121. Once again, Dr. M hits Brown for Bay State. Okay. Killjoy being uh, buffeted there by Sylvia Rath and taken down momentarily at the front of the pack. Dr. M hits Brown is bumped out by Phoenix and rolled back to the start line. You got a tripod now by Bay State just, just shutting Killjoy down right now. I mean, Killjoy is back and forth, good footwork, but just can't get a hole in that wall to get through. Well, and now all of a sudden a little daylight breaks. Killjoy up from the knees, able to get lead jammer now, Bad Wolf is up in front trying to ride Dr. M hits to the infield. Uh, Phoenix bracing up there and they are able to hammer and nail Dr. M hits Brown to the outside of turn three. Scoring pass for Black Rose. 
11 point lead for Bay State right now. Killjoy knocked out of bounds there on turn three, Gretchen. And I, I thought I heard, oh no, there's a cut. I thought that was four whistles, but that's a track cut on Killjoy putting a power jam now over in control of Dr. Emmett Brown. Well, Dr. Oh, has yeah, passed, passed the, the star, star now to that's number 15. Burst and Bubbles, the captain of Bay State Brawlers. Okay, so scoring trip now for Burst and Bubbles. 35 seconds on the jam uh, clock, so Killjoy will be released before the end of this jam. But Burst and Bubbles, uh, a couple of skates went out of bounds, but uh, Black Rose reforming at the front of the pack. So uh, no concerns regarding uh, cut track penalties. Boy, this is just brutal pack work going on right now. Black Rose dinging in at the front. Here comes Killjoy now. There's another very solid, that three wall turns into a four wall. There's the end of our jam. All right, four points awarded to Bay State, one to Black Rose. So jam 15 will end. We are under 10 minutes to go in this first period and it's a 14 point Bay State lead. With this lead now, we're looking at Olive Havoc taking on number 34. That is Ashley Juggs. And again, the uh, penalty box is empty. We shall see now the pack setting up at the pivot line. Ashley Juggs, oh. oh, able to stay in bounds on the inside. So lead jammer is gonna go to Bay State. Olive Havoc completes the initial trip and has some uh, some distance to cover. Both of those jammers went through the same spot on the inside. Olive kept to the inside. Ashley Juggs moved to the middle and found that hole. And one point going up for Ashley Juggs. Red Rum able to protect her point and bump Ashley to the inside, forcing the call mm -hmm. off. Here we go now, now uh, in the penalty box for Bay State is 814 Keels. So it'll be a 4-3 pack advantage in favor of Black Rose, Bacon for Mercy, jamming against Ace of Aches. Bacon trying to find the weak spot there up at front. So Bacon's at the front of the pack, but lead is still open. And just in that time, Ace of Aches comes out with a lead. Ace of Aches showing uh, just a very uh, impressive strength moving that black rose wall and getting through, trying to score a couple and, while calling the jam. Nothing for black rose, one for Bay State. Very adaptive there by Bay State, just learning how Black Rose plays the game and just kind of using it against them almost in a way. Uh, yeah, that, that's a that's a fair point, George. Um, yeah, because uh, you know, th there's a counter play for every mm -hmm. play. You just have to you know be able to figure it out yes. sometimes. All right, boots with the star for Bay State, blue again for Black Rose. And Susan sure rammed him for Black Rose, anchoring that defensive tripod. Bump out for Thylander, takes Blue back to the start line. Boots awarded lead jammer, and while Blue is bumped inside by Kate for the Bay State team. Black Rose just lost Phoenix over to a penalty now, so. Well, Blue going defensive now as a jammer, bumped Boots to the outside. Now Blue resumes work on that initial trip. This time Mason Your Face able to take Boots outside. Mason Your Face reforming the uh, tripod now. But Boots coming through hot. And that will be four points for the Bay State Brawlers. Coach uh, Mace Granny here is telling Macy to get those hips moving. <laughs> One thing that I'm seeing Bay State is they're not falling for the star stashes. No, no, they are uh, very aware team. Yeah. And they, uh, their, their defensive formation has been holding right now. I believe the star has been passed to Mace in your face. Meanwhile, Boots getting tripped up at the front of the pack. Mace is through, completing the initial pass now uh, with a full head of steam. 
She will put that helmet cover on, but boots in lead. Forces the call off. Yeah. Yep. And we have an official review being called by Olive. Okay, eight to zero on the jam right now. Yeah, with five minutes and 31 seconds to go. Not a bad time to take the official review. Uh, Black Rose certainly doesn't want to use another timeout in this period. No, no, and so it's, the, it's already a gambling game with this review because. Sure. Um, well, as we mentioned, WFTDA uh, recognized tournaments are an uh, integral part of the WFTDA's mission. The Women's Flat Track Derby Association uh, la launched the uh, recognized tournament program in uh, 2012. Uh, WFTDA.TV provides a valuable service to the sport of women's flat track roller derby, producing high quality broadcasts which provide exposure as well as coaching and educational resources to participants around the world. Oh my, here we go. Skellington 25 says, Gretchen, nice to hear you're there. This is Missy Blue's fiance, Dylan. We leave this Thursday for Hawaii to be wed. If you see Missy on the sideline or have a mic, tell her I'm watching and she's doing great. Wow, isn't that sweet? We'll pass that along during halftime. That's only a few minutes away. I'm kind of dying to know what this official review is going on over there, Gretchen. Yeah, um, well, Beautiful Banshee, I believe, is uh, going to... Uh, well, no, as a matter of fact, not. Tell you what, George, why don't you take over and I will go uh, check out what's going on. Okay. So we're waiting on Gretchen. What we're gonna do is go find out what the basis of this official review is. This was called by Olive Havoc uh, on behalf of Black Rose. Um, and speaking of our officials, right now we've got a pretty good crowd. We've got WEB Destroys, Decrypt Keeper, Apex Predator, Melfire, Lopez, Kinky Linky, Big Brad Wolf, Snappy Turtle, and Braddy Saurus Rex. And speaking of Braddy Saurus Rex, this is Braddy's 100th game as an official. So congratulations, Braddy, for sticking with Derby. Our skating referees, Verbal Assault is the head referee of this game. Razor, Refs in Style, Julius Cesia, Automaton, Slammerous, and Gluten Freedom. In, our, in some of our past games with Black Rose this weekend, uh, Olive Havoc has brought up some very good official reviews and has gotten some of them won. So we're waiting now. Looks like Gretchen is on her way back with some information. What's the story, Gretchen? Well, the short answer is that Black Rose will not retain their official review. The longer answer is that they were asking for a low block on the previous uh, jam against Bay State's jammer. Uh, there was a, a tangle near the pivot line and oh and we have a cutting the track penalty now going against olive havoc so it's a power jam in favor of bay state um, the determination was that uh, boots did fall small and that uh, any contact mm -hmm. was within the metric right and therefore the no call stood all right we're back to live action now wreck and roll with the star now Black Rose digging in defensively. That's Bad Wolf up front along with Delirious Pain. Oh. And a multiplayer block will send Bad Wolf to the penalty box. Four points going up for the Bay State Brawlers. Olive Havoc coming out of the box after that cut track penalty she received. As intense as this game is, Gretchen, I can imagine the jammer is probably wearing everything other than toe stops out on the side of the line. So we can see how this happens. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and now Wreck and Roll will call the jam after another successful scoring trip. So, 68 to 36 in favor of the Bay State Brawlers with four minutes and 10 seconds to go. Oh! We've been doing this all weekend long. 
How are they still awake? We gotta love our <laughs> camera crew. They are some of the best kids I have met. Yeah, they're all volunteers, and they're good ping pong players too. I was just will happen to say there's a ping pong play, ping pong table here at the Mid Coast Recreation Center. All right, back to live action. Yes, first lead in a row by Black Rose with Bacon for Mercy in the lead jammer's position, and Dr. M Hits Brown is through Bacon for Mercy. Oh, going airborne, picking up four, calling the jam. Nice apex jump by Bacon there. Yep, 40 now for Black Rose, cutting into that base State lead, three minutes and 20 seconds to go in period number one. Penalty box is empty. Killjoy to the line for Black Rose and number 34, Ashley Juggs for the base State Brawlers. All right, so four on four in the pack as the uh, pack moves back to the start line. Not a lot of room. Black Rose setting up with Bad Wolf at the front of the pack, looking to throw perhaps some offense or be the last line of defense. In the meantime, Ashley Juggs goes to the inside. There's room, she's lead jammer. Now Killjoy looking to get a shirt whip off of her pivot. And Ashley Juggs on a scoring trip now. Ashley Juggs will pick up four points. Bay State losing a blocker to the penalty box. And now Phoenix is going to have to sit down. I think that was a clockwise block and penalty on Phoenix. That's going to send Phoenix off to the box. That's right. Bad Wolf picks up the star pass. Meanwhile, Ashley Juggs is able to score four more for the Bay State Brawlers, so. I was, oh, I'm sorry, Gretchen. 76 to 40 with a minute and 52 seconds Olive to go. Havoc on the jam line. Speaking of Olive Havoc, we've got a note here from Katie Cake saying, go Olive, coolest aunt ever. All right, all right. <laughs> ever, so that's the whole history of time. Yeah, that's a, so we, that's a, a, a bold statement, but uh, I can't disagree. In presence of greatness here, Gretchen, That's right, right in front oh of us. Oh my gosh, Ace of Aches able to stay in bounds on that inside line. Lead jammer going to Bay State. Olive Havoc is through now, and uh, the greatest aunt in the world looking to score points from behind now. A big stop by Susan Sheramdom will force the call off, three more points going up for Bay State. And, all right, one Bay State blocker will be in the penalty box, sitting down in between jams, so they'll be in there for the full uh, 30 seconds. We've got Bacon for Mercy and Boots on the jam We're line. We're doing old fashioned pivot line start here. That's right. Okay. Bacon looking to the inside right now. Boots pushing that defensive formation. Boy, not a whole lot of open space across the turn here, George. Bacon for Mercy is still fighting and getting shut down in every chance that they can throw a blocker at her. But we have the Bacon for Mercy with another lead. Yeah, and Bad Wolf in that pivot <coughs> position was able to direct the defense yes. and uh, make some room for Bacon. Bacon for Mercy uh, taken to the inside. Boots has completed the initial pass. Oh, Bacon for Mercy called for a cut now. And this will be a power jam. The period clock is at zero, so. We'll go another minute and five seconds on the jam. <coughs> Boots is called for cutting now, so a dueling power jam situation. 55 seconds left. And we're going to run the full 55 now that there is no lead in a sudden turn of events. Getting lots of support for Black Rose from PA and Maryland here, Gretchen. So far, uh, no points on this jam, and uh, it's been a defensive tour de force for both teams. Boots has been released now, too. Still 35 seconds to go in the jam. Bacon for Mercy looking for a little help. Meanwhile, Boots released, putting up four points for Bay State. Bacon for Mercy being rolled back can't see the number of the 
Bay State blocker who did that, but I want to guess it's Sylvia Rath. Someone there, okay, so 16, Kate is going off on a clockwise blocking penalty. Boots just about completed that pass, but just in the last second or so, went out of bounds, took a knee down, and oh uh, had my. the re-enter at the back. So our oh my. jam is Boots over. took an enormous amount of impact there. Uh, Star Stash pointing out by our producer, Chad. Here it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're looking at our instant replay here as we have just moved into halftime. Eight to two on that final jam. So, at halftime, Bay State Brawlers at 87 and the Black Rose Rollers at 42. And Spanx 68 says Tampa Roller Derby is rooting for Black Rose. Thanks for watching. We've, uh, you we've know, got a, oh, go ahead. Bay State really uh, coming on strong in the second part of this first period. We've, and we've got some friends in Tampa too. So we'd like to acknowledge that we, we see all these comments are coming in and, and when we can, we're going to, to acknowledge that. But in the meantime, we need to talk about New England Road Derby Report because they're the ones bringing you this live feed that everybody right now is enjoying. You're enjoying it, right? I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying it. it. All of our fans are enjoying it more than we can ever even imagine. So thank you to our fans, but right now thank you for, to New England Road Derby Report. And their production sponsor, Gretchen, is Sociopath. Sociopath is a skater-run business offering custom sewn to order legwear for teams and individuals, and they are size-inclusive activewear designed to fit you. Sociopath also offers dozens of armband and helmet cover options for scrimmages and competition, and team discounts are available. Please see sociopath.ca. The important part of that is sociopath is S-E-W, uh, sociopath, S-E-W-C-I-O-P-A-T-H dot C-A for more details. And make sure that you use the coupon code N-E-R-D to get free shipping until May 3rd on all orders over 45 Canadian dollars. Yes very great service by our friends at sociopath right now thank you so much we'll be back with the second half in about 12 minutes welcome back to coastal chaos 2019 a wftda recognized tournament brought to you by the <laughs> rock coast rollers of which uh, captain ness is uh giving us a little dance celebration uh and new england roller derby report uh we are at intermission of the final game between the black rose rollers of hanover pennsylvania and the bay state brawlers representing uh, massachusetts Massachusetts. Let me check that real quickly because I can be a little more specific than that, George. Small state. <laughs> Mass yeah, Massachusetts is actually fairly well. It's a commonwealth. It's a battle of the commonwealths because both Pennsylvania and Massachusetts are a commonwealth. Uh, states, Bay State representing Fitchburg, Massachusetts. Black Rose representing Hanover, Pennsylvania. Bay State actually played against Black Rose earlier this year, mentioned it for a bit as we got started, George. It was on March 23rd of this year, mm -hmm. and Bay State took the win 164 to 140. Not much. Yeah. yeah. So uh, right now, Black Rose made the early push in this game in the first period. However, Bay State fought back and uh, got the best of the second part of the first period. So they are currently on a 45-point uh, lead. Yes. We've got a note here from Killjoy Steam saying, good job, Mom. And I'm guessing Mom is Killjoy with two uh, orange cats there. All right. <laughs> so we've got friends and family and 87 viewers right now. So thank you for tuning in to us. Uh, last game here at Coastal Chaos. That's right. We've seen a lot of derby, and, you know, you can get tired, but our, our fans are the best, Gretchen. They are. They are. You, there's nothing like a uh, roller derby fan, and there's nothing like the WFTDA recognized tournament program. The WFTDA recognized tournaments programs recognizes and supports high-quality WFTDA member-hosted tournaments worldwide. They allow for various tournament structures, but the recognized tournament program establishes a consistent standard for tournament efficiency 
officiating and games management. We'll go over the uh, upcoming WFTDA recognized tournaments uh, later on. We're almost ready to get underway with period number two. It's gonna be Ashley Juggs jamming for Bay State and Olive Havoc for the Black Rose Rollers. One uh, Bay State blocker in the penalty box right now. Mm -hmm. So uh, Black Rose will enjoy a four to three pack advantage. Here we go, George. Okay, Olive Havoc taking off at the full speed off that jam line, taken out by number 15, Burst and Bubbles. Now Olive Havoc does a no pass, no penalty, so I think she gets forfeited lead. Yes, yeah. there's our no pass, or our no pass, no penalty, and our not lead. Okay, but Ashley Juggs is rolled back by Phoenix. So Ashley, excuse me, so Olive Havoc will be able to score points. Dancing to the inside now, taken down uh, very authoritatively by 923 Smash Mellow. And then roll back, and oh my oh. goodness, we have a illegal contact penalty going on Ashley Juggs. So, the power jam situation in play. Ash, excuse me, Olive Havoc already on a scoring trip, and uh, no jammer will be able to stop the action. It'll be a full two-minute jam. However, a oh. forearm penalty yeah. now being called on Olive Havoc. That, that first move where, where Olive just made that new pa no pass, no it was a calculated risk, Gretchen. Olive knew that there was gonna be no lead jammer coming out of that from Black Rose and still kept on going. Well, here comes Ashley Juggs now. Ashley Juggs, if I'm not mistaken, may have to complete an initial pass yet before being in scoring position. There are currently 35 seconds left on the jam clock and Olive Havoc has already been released from the penalty box, the no, pa the no pack signal goes up. Black Rose has to let Ashley Juggs go, and it is true. Ashley Juggs has only now completed an initial pass. Olive Havoc gets four points. Here comes Ashley Juggs, looking inside, staying in bounds, but pounded to the infield by Bad Wolf. So Olive Havoc with six seconds left on the jam may be able to score a couple more for the Black Rose Rollers. Meanwhile, Ashley Juggs is being ridden at the back of the pack by Phoenix. So, <laughs> that's a lot of action. We've got a special uh, viewer, Gretchen. We've got Darby from Black Rose Rollers Jr. is cheering on. Uh, oh, how's, how wonderful. Darby's coaches, Olive and Blue, who are both out here working very hard. All right, so three to two on that last trip through the pack, seven to two on the jam in favor of Black Rose. So with 27 and 30, 27 minutes and 30 seconds to go, Bacon for Mercy will take the jam line uh, for Black Rose, and this is Ace of Aches for Bay State. Ace of Aches has just been a, a powerful jammer yes. all weekend long, George. There is some good defensive blocking by Black Rose in a tripod, but Ace just gets right past it. Yeah, kind of knifing in and just <laughs> finding that spot and uh, using the core strength to uh, sort of uh, wriggle through the defense. Ashley, or, or, excuse me, Ace of Aches will call off the jam. Three points going up for Bay State, zero for Black Rose. We have an empty penalty box to start jam number three. Uh, Dr. M. Hits Brown will be jamming four Bay State and Blue will be taking the star for Black Rose. So there's our jam charging whistle, and Blue takes off. Try, Blue's trying to go up the center of the pack, which now, now Blue gets knocked out of bounds and is just carried away by the pivot there. The captain, Burst and Bubbles, is proactively on top of Blue. Every step that Blue makes, Burst and Bubbles was just on top of it. So oh, very and a whistle <laughs> is blown. With looking at a direction of yep. gameplay, that's going on base state. And Blue making it work. Lead jammer for Black Rose. Dr. M Hits Brown held off now by Phoenix, but M Hits Brown able to get around. Blue now spinning and going out of bounds and wisely yeah. calling off that jam, George. A little worried uh, that Blue might go back in there and get that cut, but 
That's right correct. Right decision yeah. to call it off. Yeah, because uh, at that point, uh, Dr. M. Hits Brown was close enough to the engagement zone that uh, take your two points and right. move on. So we're seeing all of Havoc now up against 896, wreck and roll. And our penalty box, we've got one Punisher in the box. So a pack advantage uh, going to Black Rose right now. Yeah, four to three. It's Smash Mellow in the penalty box for Bay State. Olive Havoc looking to bust up the tripod for Bay State, but uh, bumped inside by the Bay State pivot. A uh, forearm penalty will be called. Uh, Black Rose lead jam, Olive Havoc in control for now wreck and roll working through now completing the initial trip so it's about half a track advantage olive havoc looks over clears the pack and black rose is going to let this one run trusting the defense and mason your face for black rose is anchoring that defensive formation olive havoc bouncing into the pack now uh, four points will go up for each jammer. Eight to four on the jam in favor of Black Rose, George. Olive Havoc has to have a lot of comp or a lot of confidence in the Black Rose defense for not call. Okay, there's the call off. Um, we've got a shot out here from from a, a former Black Rose skater still involved in the league. That's 825 rotten to the quarry. Oh, long time skater for Black Rose. Thank you for tuning in and watching us. That's right. That's right. Well, hey, give us shout outs. I know some of y'all are uh, Bay State fans as well. Saw a couple at the end of the period saying killing it, etc. I don't want to make it sound as though, uh, I mean, I, you know, I'm from Pennsylvania. I'll gladly admit it. And, uh, I, you know, I, I love roller derby. So, uh, you know, both teams are playing excellent games. Like to hear from both fans. But, uh, hey, we are back to live action. Ace of Aches. Oh, it's called for cutting the track. Oh. So it is a power jam, Black Rose. It is Bacon for Mercy with the star. Keels put a hit on, on Bacon there, and Keels rolled Bacon back. But Bacon is recovered, comes up back up to the front of the pack. Yeah, uh, Black Rose trying to goat one of the blockers in the back, and they succeed. Lead jam going to Bacon for Mercy after 30 seconds of pure turmoil on the track. <laughs> All right, Black Rose now setting up a offensive swarm. It is being led by Bad Wolf trying to open the door. The power jam is over. Here comes Ace of Aches. Ace of Aches is through the pack, one would think. Yes, that's yeah. just the initial pass. Bacon for Mercy certainly has some points, might uh, call. No, gonna roll the jam. Oh, Ace of Aches going airborne, bumped the infield by Phoenix. Red Rum reforming in the back, and a little bit of distraction benefits Bacon for Mercy. Four going up for Black Rose. Bacon for Mercy could have easily just as called that jam, decided to keep it going. Uh, now both teams now are up four points. That's right. Bacon for Mercy now. Oh, a quick hop results in four more, and she will call now. So another eight to four jam in favor of the Black Rose Rollers, and they have cut the uh, lead down to 33. Mm -hmm. Now, Bay State on 100, Black Rose 67. We're looking at Killjoy taking on 34, Ashley Juggs, and our penalty box just has number 421, uh, Thylander. So. Well, Black. and Susan Sharan from okay, standing. So we're looking at a four on four right now. Yeah, yeah, three okay. on three in the pack, which the, both jammers are probably kind of happy about. It's one <laughs> less. Oh, how about Killjoy Look looking outside, finding an outside line. Lead jammer Black Rose. Here comes Ashley Juggs, though, getting the stride in gear. The pack is at full speed. How about this, George? This is reminiscent of uh, yesteryear roller derby. Killjoy hitting the pack at top speed, calling the jam, but no points are no scored. Points. Wow. Run away right. defense by Bay State. Well at, done. At that point, Bay State just forced the call off. Very effective. And... Wreck and Roll will be taking on Olive Havoc in our next jam. Well done. Wow. Uh, just uh, a, a thrilling gameplay. You know, it's so well coordinated and everybody able to change speeds and change dimensions quickly. 
Yes, we're seeing a lot of very good pack awareness, especially those defensive blockers are just an A1 job at just keeping a, a, in track of what the jammer is doing. Okay, Olive Havoc back on the track for Black Rose. Lead jam awarded to Olive Havoc. This is wreck and roll jamming for Bay State, now completing an initial trip. Olive Havoc busting through, but called for illegal contact. And it'll now be a power jam in favor of Bay State. Wreck and roll putting up four. Wreck and roll has a fan out there, uh, our ship 7897. So we appreciate the love for, for Bay State on our viewers right now. Okay, here we go. Second scoring trip now for Wreck and Roll. Four more going up. Phoenix has rejoined her teammates. Bad Wolf and Delirious Pain are the blockers on the track for Black Rose. And wow, Wreck and Roll just uh, using the momentum to keep herself in bounds now has a big jam brewing for Bay State. Olive Havoc coming back in. Just yep. Trying to punch a hole in that pack. I mean, not literally. Uh, trying to find the weak spot. Normally, we're used to seeing some very strong jamming by Olive Havoc. And there it is. There's a four-point pass. Yeah. Yeah, because it, with uh, Black Rose's defensive formation right now, Olive Havoc was forced to go on yes. her own. Uh, Wreck and Roll is through for four more, however, and Olive Havoc is called off again for another illegal contact play. I believe it was a low block. But uh, in any event, four points. She probably took a couple of points to the penalty box with her, but the jam will go out. The clock expires on the jam. 3-3 three, three, uh, going up at the end of the jam. 19-7 in favor of Bay State. Wow. So yeah. Bay State will be taking this power start and sending out 3-3-3 three, three, three boots. That's correct. And... Uh, in the pack for Bay State, number 217 is Bambi uh, setting up on the outside line. One Bay State blocker in the penalty box. Mason, your face taking a shot at Boots. Cannot keep Boots or cannot put Boots out of bounds. Lead jammer going to Bay State. Boots coming in now on a scoring pass. Gets past, looks like only Zul and, and Red Rum goes for the hit. Red Rum misses Boots, so Boots comes out with a clean four point scoring pass. That's right, Boots checking the gear now. Hopefully, everything is all right there. Olive Havoc back on the track, trying to make an initial trip through the pack. Looking at the Black Rose pack, it would be Mace in your face if Mace were to take. A star pass, but Olive Havoc completing the initial. Oh, big hit there by Red Rum on Boots, taking Boots to the infield and forcing the call off. Red Rum uh, had a little bit of mustard on that one, George. Yeah, three points there by Boots before that big contact made, bringing Bay State up to 126. Okay, pivot for Bay State is sitting in the penalty box, so it'll be a 4-3 pack advantage for Black Rose. Dr. M. Hits Brown will be taking on Bacon for Mercy as jammers. Here we go now. And well defended there by Sylvia Rath, rolling back Bacon for Mercy. Now holding on to the outside line is 44, Andy Morphs for Bay State. And uh, yeah, they're doing a nice job going line to line there, George, defensively. Very uh, fluid blocking, Gretchen. Yeah, then in came Bad Wolf making an offensive sweep, which sprung Bacon for Mercy for lead jam. I see uh, Bad Wolf doing a lot of blocking where Wolfie will actually skate forward and backward and just Trademark move is just breaking up those defensive walls and there's a jammer stuck. That's exactly what she did right there. Now she's trying to do it again as Dr. M. Hits Brown is still looking to complete an initial trip, 
Meanwhile, though, the Bay State defense is not making life uh, very pleasant for Bacon for Mercy. That tripod is uh, anchored by Smash Mellow. Oh, big hit by <laughs> Susan Sharamdam taking uh, Dr. M hits Brown to the infield. Boy, this is just a defensive struggle for both teams. Star's been passed on Bay State. That's Keels with the star now. Red Roan puts a hit on 8-1 for Keels. Uh, Red Roan went down, so Keels was allowed to re-enter in front. Bacon for Mercy, one point. One point. That jam went almost a full two minutes and yielded one that point. You want to say, can you say defense, That's, George? I was going to say, Gretchen, <laughs> that is an example of the kind of defense we're seeing. Woo! Where two minutes, two jammers, and one point coming out of all that. Well, I'm not wearing a hat, but <laughs> if I had one, I would take it off yes. to both teams yes. right now. Wow. Okay, number six for Black Rose. Number eight for Bay State. It is Missy Blue and Ace of Aches, your jammers. Blue at the front of the pack now, takes the spin, makes lead jam, and wow, Susan Sharamdam bumping Ace of Aches into the middle and called for a forearm. This could be uh, either number six or number seven on Susan Sharamdam Phoenix taking a shot and leveling Ace of Aches. It is getting real out there, Roller Derby fans. And even Ace had to take a couple seconds to reform and, and can <laughs> catch some breath before getting back up. Yeah, Blue dancing through that spin move yields four points for Black Rose. Now Ace of Aches approaching the defense a little more gingerly, passing the star. This is number 16, Kate, the pivot for Bay State, is now the jammer of record, Ooh. and the hits are coming, folks. Yep. Blue. And it was a, uh, a, a revenge hit, uh, really, kind of by uh, Ace of Aches. It called as a direction of gameplay on Blue. Blue shaking off the contact and continuing through for another scoring trip. That's eight now for Black Rose on the jam. Phoenix called for a penalty. Yeah, the, the star on the hat is not a, uh, it, it, it's more of a target right it's a bullseye. now, yeah. It's a bullseye for this game. Here we go, points going up. Four more for uh, Bay State. So it's an 8-4 mm -hmm. jam, wow. Official timeout being called right now. That gives us an opportunity to uh, set the stage for the next couple of weeks of WFTDA there's a lot uh, of recognized tournaments. There's a lot of action going on there, Isn't Gretchen. that right? Yeah, next weekend, uh, we got two of them. Put up your toques in uh, Kitchener-Waterloo, Ontario, Canada, hosted by Tri-City Roller Derby. And then uh, also in uh, Eugene, Oregon. <laughs> That's the Big O, hosted by Emerald City. Now, I hear a lot of good things about the Big O. Yeah. And there will be some streaming coverage that you want to look into Absolutely. for all of that. Uh, then the following weekend, we have Flat Track Fever taking place in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. That's hosted by Calgary Roller Derby. And then the final weekend in May, how about that, George? That's Paris is Burning, 2E edition. Uh, that's the 25th and 26th in Paris, hosted by uh, Les Quads de Par Paris. Would they say it, Paris? Yeah, Paris. yeah. Um, a lot going on there in June as well. Yeah, and then at the end, between May 31st and June 2nd, we're going to have uh, the Calio Finvitational in Helsinki, Finland, hosted by Calio Rolling Rainbow. And here in the USA... We can't forget the Midwest Brouhaha. May 31st to June 2nd in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, hosted by Gretchen, none other than the Brew City Bruisers. Uh, I was telling uh, Brady Punch, uh, I had the uh, the pleasure of attending the, uh, the Brew C Midwest Brew Ha Ha last year. Great tournament, number one. And, you know, Milwaukee, it's a great city. <laughs> yes. If you haven't spent much time there, it is a gem of the Midwest that, uh, you know, you really should check yeah, out. Absolutely. It's, a, it's a cool city. Um, and the Milwaukee 
fans love their roller derby. The Bruce City Bruisers play at a downtown arena. Oh my goodness, look at this, a short pack for Bay State. Olive Havoc on the jam line. Ashley Juggs with the star for Bay State. Three to one pack advantage right now in favor of Black Rose. But who is the lone defender for Bay State? None other than Captain Burston Bubbles. Also the pivot for this jam. Now Olive Havoc picking up the lead for this jam. And still fighting at the front. And a really weird pack definition situation. Uh, Black Rose had to let Ashley Juggs go. Big hit dealt out there by Burston Bubbles. Forces the call off. No points for Bay State. Two points for Black Rose. Black Rose now up to 85, 130 for Bay State. 12 minutes, 25 seconds to go. All right, on the jam line, who do we have next, George? Bacon for Mercy, 123 and 896, wreck and roll. And we're looking at possibly an empty penalty box. I can't quite see. Well, I think standing up in yes. the penalty box is uh, number 42, Blue Whale, for Bay State, looking to get back into the fray. Oh, and wow, wreck and roll, really having a strong game for Bay State. Able to get through as lead jammer, Bacon for Mercy, bumped inside by number 213, Sylvia Rath. Bacon for Mercy still in possession of that star. We're seeing a lot of star stashes after a lead by Black Rose, but I'm telling you that Bay State is not fooled. You cannot no. fool them. You can't get past get that star stash past them at all. Bay State has been playing a, uh, a really solid technical game along with you know, some all-out effort. Uh, now Bacon for Mercy does get through. Wreck and Roll already with uh, eight points, I believe, on the jam. Big hit by Mason, your face will force the call off. Yes, eight points going up now. And will there be four more? There will be four more going up for Bay State. So a 12-0 jam. And we've got an official review being called now by Black Rose. Yeah, this one, uh, well, with 11.02 to go in this game, uh, Black Rose, you know, you gotta, you gotta take your shot. The, you know, you miss, as Michael Jordan once said in basketball, you uh, miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. So this uh, could be a critical juncture. Uh, Black Rose asking for an official review now. We'll try to get more information to you as soon as it comes in. Right now though, I'd like to uh, go back to the subject of these uh, WFTDA recognized tournaments because you know you heard us talk about a lot of them, but there are still additional tournaments scheduled this year. Uh, June 7th through 9th, Besterns will be taking place in Denver Colorado, USA, hosted by the Rocky Mountain Roller Girls. Uh, June 8th and 9th, uh, if you're in the neighborhood of Wausau, Wisconsin, I urge you to attend Oofdapalooza, uh, hosted by the Mid-State Sisters of Skate. Uh, the second week, third weekend, I believe, in June, uh, 14th through 16th in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Le Classic Georgia W. Tush will be taking place. That's hosted by Montreal Roller Derby. And uh, I'm looking forward to that one. I'm going to be there on the final day, which is better than nothing. <laughs> and then uh, June 21st through 23rd, Portland, Oregon, USA, uh, hosted by the Rose City Rollers. That's going to be hometown throwdown. And then finally, June 21st through 23rd, Third in Feasterville, Travos, Pennsylvania, USA, will be the East Coast Derby Extravaganza hosted by Philly Roller Derby. Have some uh, shout outs here. Uh, Speedy Parker, yeah, uh, Speeder Parker, so proud of this calm technical play by BSB. Couldn't agree more. Uh, they've re they obviously did their homework on Black Rose's style uh, and and Black Rose's strengths, and they have uh, they have 
found a method to counteract. Uh, George, what did you find out about the official review? So that review was called by Olive Havoc, uh, captain of the Black Rose Rollers, looking for an illegal contact penalty on the uh, Bay State Jammer there. What they're saying is <laughs> the uh, Bay State Jammer had blocked um, Red Rum 237 while Red Rum was down and looking for that blocking a down skater penalty. Mm -hmm. The uh, officials have determined that there were two separate actions there. The 237 was down, came back up. So uh, Red Rum had one knee up upright. So that so Red Rum was up, not down skater. In an upright position, And then there was a second hit. So nope, the penalty will not be taken away and then will be given. So they're gonna lose that review. Okay, yeah. so uh, still two clock stoppages uh, for Black Rose available. With 11.02 to go, it is 142 Bay State, 85 Black Rose. Olive Havoc on the line for Black Rose. Boots once again jamming for Bay State. Mason, your face will start this jam sitting in the penalty box. So it's a 4-3 pack advantage in favor of Bay State. Here comes Olive pushing the front of the pack, ducking under the defense. Lead jammer, Black Rose Rollers. Olive Havoc now about half a lap behind the pack. Boots coming, pardon me, Boots coming out, completing uh, the initial pass. I'll, 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 Olive Havoc calls it off. Yeah. Um, so speaking of official reviews, Gretchen, we have some really good referees out there, and I'm seeing refs from all across the world. Yeah. And our yeah. head referee, Verbal Salt, is doing an amazing job. We've also got Razor, Refs in Style, Julius Cesia, Automaton, Slammerous, and Gluten Freedom. That's, that is correct, and now you, we see that the, uh, the referees are conversing to uh, determine how many points are going to be awarded, if any, right. uh, to Black Rose on that call-off. So, uh, you know, well, now, wait a second. Bay State has also requested an official review. If I can, uh, yeah, that is exactly what's going on, George. So uh, George is going to go into the uh, infield and find out about that one. Yeah. Uh, George and uh, Beautiful Banshee, our uh, venue announcer, we've had a good time here. And I just want to say a special thank you to uh, not only New England Roller Derby Report, Chad's here, of course, with Lady Lana, and they've been wonderful all weekend long. But, uh, you know, all of the volunteers are so great, and the hosts have just been wonderful. The Rock Coast Rollers... Uh, have skated in this event the last four years and because of turnover that many of you can understand coming from smaller leagues wherever your home is they just really couldn't put together a team to compete in this event this year but they you know they were committed to holding the event and they've put it on and they've done just a wonderful job and i think you know it's it's such a great opportunity for teams like this to find each other and play each other because you know when you get to the higher levels of roller derby a lot of times normally it's tough to uh it's tough to schedule games uh with similarly ranked teams because you might be four or five six hundred miles away from each other and that's that's one of the reasons that the wftda uh really got behind this recognized tournaments program to uh allow more kind of cross pollination and uh gameplay between similarly ranked higher ranked teams and uh you know that's what we've seen this weekend and it's been uh it's been very entertaining and thank you to the rock coast rollers for making it possible all right as we said now looking at the rankings coming in uh Black Rose Rollers were ranked number 120 in the WFTDA as of March 31st. The Bay State Brawlers were ranked 137 as of, um, excuse me, as of uh, March 31st. Uh, Bay State Brawlers were ranked number 137 as of March 31st. So there may be some rankings uh, consequences that occur as a result of uh, this particular contest. George, 
Carnage is still in the uh, in the mix in the official review, finding out exactly what happened. Meanwhile, well, we've got 10 minutes and 24 seconds to go. Uh, 57 point uh, advantage now for the Bay State Brawlers. So can 57 points be earned in 10 minutes? Uh, the question is, or the, that's the question if you're a Black Rose fan. The answer almost assuredly is yes. Uh, during those same 10 minutes, can you prevent Bay State from scoring any points? That question is a more debatable answer. George, what do you find out about the official review? So this one, this review is a bit more complicated than the last one. That one was pretty complicated. <laughs> Bay, Bay State was looking for a cut track on Black Rose's Dammer. That's 352 Olive Havoc. Under the basis that Olive signaled the call off, but came back in the track before the end of the jam, hence the cutting the track penalty. And initially, when the officials talked about it, it was solid that they were not going to call it because the tap had occurred outside the line. Thus, the call off was initiated out of bounds. But then they, this is why we have official reviews, and this is why it's so important to get your officials together. There was a different aspect of that where they're going to say, okay, yes, because the jam was not actually called until until Olive had come back in and Olive had made no effort to actually slow down from out of bounds, uh -huh. came back in the track at full speed. They are going to issue the cut on Olive. So this will put Black Rose down with their jammer in the box and Bay State will keep this review for the rest of the period. Ooh, Dr. M hits Brown on the power jam start now for Bay State. Uh, now, three points did go up at yes. the end of the jam, awarded to Olive Havoc during that controversial play. But, okay, here we go. Well, uh, now a power jam kill uh, is the priority for Black Rose, but Dr. M Hits Brown is able to make it out. So, lead jammer going to Bay State. Four on four in the pack now. Scoring pass for Dr. M Hits Brown. Meany getting to the front. A uh, Phoenix now with the stop will bring back uh, Dr. M hits Brown. Oh, but Phoenix has been called on a penalty. Olive is back in from the box fighting to complete at least one initial pass. That's right, four points now going up for Dr. M hits Brown. Olive Havoc has completed the initial trip through the pack now. And Black Rose set up at the rearward portion of the pack. Dr. M hits Brown, knocked to the outside by Meany. Uh, scoring trip now for Olive Havoc. So, uh, you know, if you're a Bay State fan, you're balancing the utility of running the clock versus uh, allowing Black Rose to score points. And. With the call off now, I believe it is okay. It's an eight to four, so a four point win for right. Bay State on that one. So these official reviews are just why it's it. I mean, we've got we've got a pretty diverse ref crew here. They're all talking about how they, about what they saw, and this is a very good officiating across the board here. Yeah, it's it, it really has been, and, and like you said, they're from all over the world. Right. It's really, uh, you know, it's a testament to uh, our officials that they're willing to make that kind of trip to come here. All right, bacon for mercy, jamming for Black Rose, Ace of Aches for Bay State. Both jammers are through. Ace of Aches is lead, but bacon for mercy may actually get ahead of her now. Oh, the, wow, these jammers are Rest. fast. We're George. jammer on jammer now, and Bacon's actually ahead by about 12 feet. That's right, and waiting for a couple of seconds to tick off the clock is Ace of Aches. Okay, so right now it's a 58-point lead for uh, Bay State. Eight minutes to go now. Blue with the star for Black Rose and number 34, Ashley Juggs for Bay State. Looking at possibly two Bay State blockers in the box, one standing, one sitting. So Black Rose, uh, Blue only have two Bay State blockers to contend yeah. with. Yeah, yeah, 4 2 pack but, advantage. I mean, uh, even though there's only two blockers, Gretz, that doesn't mean anything because 923 there, uh, uh, Smash Mellow just on top of that jam. Yeah. Yeah, and the pack is spread out and fighting the odds. 
Bla Ashley Juggs is lead jammer for Bay State. Uh, Blue now removes the star, but completes the initial trip. All right, Ashley Juggs on a scoring trip. Susan Sheramdom takes a shoulder shot, and Ashley will call off the jam. She got all four points, mm -hmm. George. I love having it coming back out. Uh, still at 92 to 150. Yep. Olive jamming up against Wreck and Roll now. And let's see what we got in our penalty box. Looks like we've got, oh, Blue, actually, no, we can't. Blue is in the box for oh, the penalty, so this will be yeah. a power jam. The, missed the call there. Yeah. We apologize for that one. A penalty going up at the end of the jam. Blue sitting, so uh, at least 11 seconds to serve, if not a full 30, George. Yeah, now we saw Olive come out with a star, so I didn't realize <laughs> yeah. that Blue was, was seated. So oh. there's, there's our Bay State lead. Yeah, lead jammer going to wreck and roll now. All four uh, Black Rose blockers on the track. Wreck and roll giving as good as she is getting in the pack now. Susan Sheramdom tries to give a shoulder shot to the inside, but wreck and roll just ducks the contact, puts up four points for the Bay State brawlers. Bay State with another four point scoring pass. Now Black Rose trying to speed up the action. Blue is out of the penalty box and through the pack on the initial trip. Got to put the helmet cover on. She does that. Now wreck and roll held off by Mason, your face oh. and taken down <laughs> by hit. Susan Sheramdom. Right to the chest by Susan Sheramdom. And two points for Blue at the end of the jam. However, Bay State with 10 on the jam. So 10 to 3 in favor of Bay State on the jam. It's I, 164 to 95. I think that hit's going to land Ram in the box. I didn't quite see exactly what hit, what it was. Um, by the time Ram hit the floor, we were facing opposite direction here. But we've, right. we've got Olive Havoc on the jam line again. Yeah, going up against Boots yes. for Bay State. Boots with room inside. Lead jammer, Bay State. Olive Havoc now. Boy, Bay State doing a really good job of just reforming up at the front of the pack. Olive Havoc loses footing and was almost re-swallowed by the quickly moving Bay State blockers. Boots putting up four points untouched on that pass, George. Olive Havoc now is getting gearing up for a scoring pass. But Boots will yep. pull the plug on the jam is as lead jammer. So 169 now for Bay State. Bay State, uh, boy, digging down and with a real uh, you know, reserve tank here at the end of the game, George. <laughs> well, we're, we're, we're under our five minute mark to the game. Uh, 121. Uh, Dr. Emmett Brown taking on Bacon for Mercy, and this is a pretty familiar pair of jammers. Yes. Uh, they've pretty much been going against each other the whole, the whole uh, length of the game. Penalty box is empty, yep. so it's four on four, and uh, boy, ooh, Bacon for Mercy making a calculated t decision, and it pays off. She yeah. is lead jammer for Black Rose. If you, if you didn't see, Bacon for Mercy was taken down on the jammer line, and the initiate of the block went down. Bacon could have just as easily gone in in front of that blocker. Four for the lead, but Bacon d took the risk, and you're right, calculated, and it worked out in Bacon's favor. That's right. Four points going up now for Black Rose. Black Rose in a situation now where they really have nothing to lose by running the jam, because at this point, uh, to uh, you know, run up as many points as possible is their objective. However, Dr. M hits Brown complicates matters by putting up four points for Bay State. That will force a call off now. And uh, two points going up, a six to four jam. So uh, Black Rose now on 100, Bay State 173. Uh, boy, as, as I said before, if I was wearing a hat, <laughs> it would go off. Uh, Bay State found a way to uh, you know, to use the strength. That's what's that's what's so 
you know, like continually intriguing about the sport of roller derby. Right. Is it, like you said, there there is an action for every reaction or a reaction for every action. There's an answer for every question. <laughs> right now, Olive Havoc has the answer. She is lead jammer for Black Rose, and Ace of Aches is called to the penalty box for cutting the track. Power jam now in the hands of Olive Havoc. Olive Havoc goes in the pack. Look at that pretty easy scoring <laughs> pass for Olive. Just finds a hole on the outside for Black Rose points on the board. That's right, 156 to go. Power jam, and Olive Havoc juking inside and oh, just stepped on yeah. the infield. That was number 44, Annie Morphs, finding that position for Bay State and holding on. Olive Havoc does make it through for four more. Okay, Ace of Aches back on the track now, still needs to complete an initial trip and does not take long to do that. Meanwhile, Olive Havoc in scoring position. This would be trip number three. And we'll call the jam. Okay, two more go up for Black Rose, a 10-0 jam in favor of Black Rose. Uh, Black Rose have two stoppages available should they choose to employ them. One minute now to go in gameplay. Bacon for Mercy to the line versus number 34, George. That's Ashley Juggs. Yeah. Going into what could be our final jam of the game. Very well could be, yes. Bacon for Mercy just has a, a tripod right in front. Oh, Bacon for Mercy, they're taken out of bounds by 15. The captain burst in bubbles. Yeah, boy, I tell you, it would be a difficult uh, choice. There will be a most valuable blocker and a most valuable yeah. jammer awarded. Oh, and uh, bursting for bubbles once again, backing Bacon back to uh, almost the pivot line. So uh, Ashley Judge on a scoring trip. Four for Bay State. Bacon for Mercy does complete the initial trip now. The period clock is winding down. Five, four, three, two, one. And Ashley Juggs continuing to roll the jam now. Bacon for Mercy looking for points now. Red Rum trying to roll back, but Red Rum gets a penalty. Bacon for Mercy got four blockers in front of her. Um, and now <laughs> Ashley Juggs will call the jam. One more point for Black Rose. That'll take them to 11. Three more points for Bay State. That'll take them to 180. George, that is our unofficial score. Yes. 